Okay, so what an incredible several days I have had cycling from splitting Croatia down to Port Gorsia here in the capital of Montenegro. Yeah, that's the country I'm in. Uh, just arrived at my Airbnb and god damn, check out what 15 pounds a night can buy you here in the capital. Honestly, I was paying more for hostel beds in Italy. So I'm gonna enjoy the next several days here, uh, try and get my bike seen too. But right now, I'm gonna have a shower and then I'm gonna sit down to edit these videos. So enjoy. Howdy y'all. So, I know it's been a little while since my last my last upload and uh, yeah I've seen a few things I've been a few places but right now I am currently in Croatia and I've just landed here it's 7 a.m. in the morning I uh, caught the night ferry over from uh, Italy uh, if I look awful that's because I had the worst night's sleep trying to sleep on a hard hard ferry floor uh, maybe got like one or two hours in the end uh, but today I'm going to be cycling to Bosnia, so 135 kilometers. Uh, it's looking like it's going to be a hot day here in Croatia as well, so definitely have to get a lot of water for this. Um, looking forward to seeing Croatia, uh, happy to be out of Italy. It wasn't the most hospitable country, um, I didn't have the best time there. I mean, it was pretty cool seeing the Colosseum, which was really the only reason I went. And, uh, yeah, yesterday was an absolute nightmare, so what I thought was going to cost me 50 euro to get here ended up costing me 110 so I got fines or charged an extra 54 euro for taking my bike on the train because apparently you have to pay to take your bike on the train in Italy I did not know this so unfortunately got stung with a large one there and then these cheeky bastards behind me charged me an extra 5 euro to take my bike on the boat my bike on the boat they're definitely spending that on beer tonight. Um, so right, <laughs> let's get to it. This is the trip to Bosnia. Initial estimations of 135k were way off. It's taken 70 kilometers to get to the Croatia Bosnia border, and it's uh, only 20 past one. Three countries in the 24 hours, not bad. Hello, Bosnia! Here I come, baby! Okay, so unfortunately, that was not the Bosnian border. It was just the exit from Croatia, and I actually got rejected at the Bosnian border because you have to be Croatian during this COVID period to enter the country unless you've had a COVID test, which unfortunately I have not. So right now i'm just debating do i try and cross the border somewhere where there's not border patrol or do i head all the way up north around bosnia and then back down south to serbia decision time
So for those of you that don't know, the ground in Croatia is almost entirely made of rocks. And unfortunately, I don't have a dome tent that can support itself, which means I've had to just shoot down off the road there and come into what is more than likely a farmer's plot. Um, I've noticed a couple pitched along the sides of the road that um, I've been used as like orchards and places to grow vegetables and whatnot. So uh, fingers crossed I can spend the night here without being disturbed because I've seen so many signs up on the road saying no camping, no camping, but this is where it's important to be able to stealth camp properly. So yeah, just don't want anyone to see me from the road. All right.